good morning, good morning, guys. It is that time of the day again. Where we gotta get out of here, that's right. It cooled down pretty good overnight. Truck is only showing like 13 degrees Celsius right now. Yeah, oh well. That's all right. We gotta get out of here and uh, make our way down to Edmonton. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go through here. Looks like a lot of people have parked over there. I guess the truck stuff got full overnight. And then people just parked over there. Yeah, so let's go through this way and see if we can get out of here better this way. Yeah, that looks like that should work just fine. See, people even parked there on the street there, basically. The parking spot was probably full last night. And see all the way along this little road here even. Well, well. We got us 519 kilometers to go. In 100 meters, turn right on Marquis Drive. To our delivery. Yes, indeed. So, I think we have enough time to get there. I mean, it's only quarter after six here right now, so it'll be seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Quarter after twelve would be six hours already, and I only have about five hundred, you know. I would say about five and a half hours driving, so. Looks like that center lane is supposed to go turn, okay. Yeah, then I'll stay in the center lane. That right lane, I meant to say, I believe, is turning only, so. Then I'm gonna be staying in the center lane. Yes, indeed. But anyways, let's get this day started. We just went through Nord Battlefort. Yes, indeed we did. Speed warning. And here we are on the other side of North Battleford. We got us a beautiful river up here. And I figured, you know what? May as well show it to you guys. Yes, indeed. I think I've shown this river a couple of times in winter time. When it was solid ice up here. Speed warning. And now it's... Uh, all water. Yeah, no more ice up here, that's for sure. Yeah, we gotta do another four hours yet to Edmonton. But hey, that's all right. We are just giving her. But it looks like there's some clouds rolling in. So we might be getting some rain later on today. We just might. You never know, right? But hey, let's make our way down to uh, Edmonton. We are now only about three hours away from Edmonton. Yeah, and as I was telling you guys earlier, it was starting to get cloudy, and guess what? Now it's starting to drizzle. So I wouldn't be surprised that we will get some rain here in the next little bit. But yeah, I made myself available already and told dispatch that I'll only have about uh, 13 hours once I drop this trailer today. So I don't know what they're going to do with me then, but uh, only have 13 hours, uh, what I meant to say, 13 hours for today after I'm dropping the trailer and tomorrow. That has to be good enough for today and tomorrow. So, uh, so we're not going to have a whole lot of hours left. But uh, on Wednesday we start getting hours back again because of the recap system. But yeah, look at them old trucks or vehicles up there in that yard. Oh, there's some really old classic 
cars out there, that's for sure. Even an old pickup and all that stuff. Yeah. But anyways, uh, we'll see what happens, right? I hope we will get a reload tomorrow, though. I mean, I don't really care if we don't get a reload today. I was thinking yesterday already, like, if I don't get a reload today, what I might do is just maybe look up to see where that uh, Edmonton Mall is and maybe go uh, go to the Edmonton Mall. Maybe show you guys that a little bit, but we'll see what happens, right? We'll see if we get a load or not, but... Yeah, this guy was parked there at the Flying J, I believe, when I was leaving there too. I think he was there yesterday already. Yeah, he's got some nice uh, posters on his tractor and trailer. Nicely dackled out, that's for sure. Oh wow, he's hauling chemicals. Dangerous goods. Yeah. Oh well. That's the way it is. Luckily, I'm not holding that. I don't really care for it. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, we'll continue on cruising along here and I guess keep our fingers crossed and see what happens, right? We are now in Lloyd, Minister, Saskatchewan, but as soon as we pass these red posts, we will be in Lloyd, Minister, Alberta. Yeah, Cross right the here. Border, entering Alberta. That's it. Changing time zone. Yeah, this is the city or town or I, I think it's called a city. That's in the middle of a uh, borderline. Yeah, one side is Saskatchewan, the other side is Alberta. Yes, indeed. Alberta is known for their oil, oil fields and all that, so... Uh, yeah, now we are in Alberta. Still haven't heard anything from dispatch if they got a load for me or not, but I suspect they won't give me a load today, which I don't really gonna complain about it because I don't have a lot of hours, so. But yeah, nice little town here. Haven't been in here in a good long while, so it's kinda Nice to go through here for a change again. You know, you get used to driving a certain certain area or whatever, and then you don't go uh, into places like these for a while, and you kind of like it again going through here for a change. You know, like some some things look a little different. You know, yeah, this husky is still here. That's good though, we need a truck stop up here. It's about the only real truck stop that's out here. At least in Lloyd Minister. It's a pretty decent sized truck stop for Canada. Not the greatest, but hey, it's what we got, so it's what we have to live with. But yeah, still looking pretty cloudy up there. I mean, it hasn't really rained, but Still looking pretty cloudy. All right, guys, we are now in Edmonton. Edmonton, yeah, look at this. We are in this uh, industrial area up here, it looks like. Wow, they got a lot of, a lot of uh, train containers down there, or, or whatever you want to call them. They load all kinds of fluid up to it. All kinds of factories around here, that's for sure. Big one here to the left. Yeah, we gotta go down here a little bit. We've got seven more kilometers to go, and then we'll be at our uh, delivery place. Yes, indeed. But because Edmonton is so much under construction, I wasn't able to go on to that uh, 216, I believe they call it. So I'm having to take a back road up here somewhere. So I've never actually been on this road. So we're going to have to find our way over there. All right, guys and gals, we have done our trailer drop over there in Edmonton. And then we got this patch to go pick up an empty trailer and go to Red Deer and drop it over there. And then we got informed to bobtail over to uh, 
to Calgary and I'll have a load ready there for tomorrow morning for myself going to Winnipeg they want me to drop it on Winnipeg tournament also so yeah so let's see we are just going over a scale right now let's see what they want to do yeah let's see they got everything so blindfolded there that they can't even see inside the scale Oh well, that's the way it is. Well, we are just empty, so shouldn't have anything to worry about. Looks like it's just slow go ahead. Ready then? We will do that then. I don't want to waste any time in here, that's for sure. Yeah, slowly starting to slow down with rain it seems like so let's get on down over to Red Deer yeah here we go guys we are now on our way to Calgary yeah we just finished dropping our trailer here in Red Deer Alberta yes indeed got us 139 more color meters to go that should take us about an hour and a half so uh, should still be in Calgary fairly early I would say at least I think so but hey it's finally stopped raining now that's a benefit that's a plus I like that <laughs> yeah very much so yeah, I was kind of hoping I was going to be able to meet up with JP, but he's got some things going on, so he can't meet up with me, so... Oh, well, maybe next time, right? Yeah, but, uh... Yeah, well, that's all right, I guess. We'll go to the Husky truck stop probably for tonight. Just call it a day over there. And, and be done. Sounds like they are going to be bringing in this load tomorrow morning, so I'm not sure by what time the load is going to be ready. So, uh, not sure if I should go over to the terminal and wait there or not. I, just, I think they're going to be going there tomorrow morning, loading it and then bringing it to the yard, so I don't know for sure, but maybe they're loading it overnight, who knows. But, yeah, we're definitely past Red Deer now, that's for sure. Look at all them RVs up there. Man, there's a ton of them. I would sure love to own one. Oh yeah, that would be nice. Getting into an RV like that. Going camping wherever you feel like it. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. But, as they say, you can't have everything. So, then we just accept what we have and that's it. Well guys, we are now in Calgary, Alberta. Yes, indeed. We've been sitting here for a good while. Yeah, looks like the wind has finally died down a little bit. Like that tree is not moving as much as it was before. But yeah, I'm just bobtail. So I'm parked right here in the bobtail section today. And I figured, you know what, since I got some time, I think I'm going to go find me a movie on Netflix. I'm going to go watch me a movie. So, yeah. It's been a okay day for me today. But I am done now, so uh, we will see you guys right here tomorrow morning. So I hope you liked this video today. <laughs>